Here are 10 things you might not know about the Scarlett fourth generation audio interfaces. Hi, I'm Ed Thorne. Stereo linking the input channels on the 2i2 and 4i4 is now possible if you want to stereo mic instruments. Simply hold down the select button for three seconds and both channel indicator lights will light up when they are linked. This can also be done in the Focusrite Control 2 application supplied with the interface. Once linked, auto gain can be applied to the stereo link channels and will set the gain of both channels simultaneously according to the hottest signal between the two. So if one signal is louder than the other, the gains of both preamps will be set to the lower input gain measurement to guarantee headroom on both channels. Hey, if you find this video useful, consider giving a super thanks and subscribe for regular home studio content. The Gen 4s are delivered with not one, but two types of air mode. The air mode you already know and love has been sub-labeled Presence and is a gentle 4 decibel EQ lift in the top end from 200Hz, leveling out at 10kHz. The new model is Presence mode plus Harmonic Drive mode, which introduces DSP-based harmonics for additional signal saturation. As you can see on the screen now, it introduces second and third order harmonics to the audio. It also imposes quite a drastic EQ curve to the audio, creating a broadcast-friendly sound. Focusrite have stated that two presets of air mode will be available at launch, suggesting there may be further options available down the line. Because this is digital signal processing, this would simply require a software update to incorporate. What extra sound options would you guys like to see on the Scarlet Gen 4s? Leave a comment below with your ideas. I'd love to hear what you guys come up with. The Gen 4's new clip safe mode secures recordings up to a sample rate of 96 kilohertz from ever clipping by checking every single sample for clipping. That's astonishing. To find out more about this, watch my auto gain and safe mode tutorial here. The Gen 4 audio interfaces can now be mains powered, freeing up the USB-C port to facilitate recording to mobile devices. The Solo and 2i2 interfaces need 4.5 watts of power, so any standard 5 watt or above USB-C charger will power them. The 4i4 needs a 7.5 watt or higher power supply. It must be noted that USB-C connections supplying 1.5 amps are required. This information is usually displayed on the power supply. If the voltage supplied by your power supply is higher than five volts, don't worry, they have built-in protection to ensure they won't be damaged. In the comments of my full Gen 4 review video, the question was raised whether connecting a mains power supply would improve the quality of the headphone amplifier, as is the case on another brand of audio interface. The idea being the more power supplied to the headphone amp, the more it can power the headphones. I tested this and sadly it's not the case. Oh, by the way, if you're considering purchasing a Scarlett interface, purchasing one of these or any of your home studio equipment through the links in the description is a great way to support the channel if you found value in this video. In a bid to make the fourth generation of Scarlett audio interfaces environmentally friendly, Focusrite are using 100% post-industrial recycled aluminium and 85% post-consumer plastics, whilst also using considerably less cardboard packaging. Now, if you find this kind of language confusing, let me explain. In a nutshell, post-industrial recycling refers to reusing the waste products generated during the source manufacturing process. Kind of like reusing the outside edges of your star-shaped biscuit cutters to make more biscuits. Post-consumer plastics refers to using consumer recycled plastics, such as bottles and electronics devices, recycling in a traditional sense as we know it. Loopback mixing controls will soon be available for the Solo and 2i2 models, and the Focusrite Control 2 app will soon support multiple languages for customers around the world who probably aren't watching this video because it's in English. And number 10, the final fact, well, I'll be honest, this is more of a guess. As you know, the Scarlett Solo and 2i2 feature onboard direct monitoring. The 4i4 and subsequent soon to be released larger models will have more advanced monitor mixing functionality in a designated Focusrite control application. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if Focusrite had a plan to incorporate this into the 2i2 as well. 
Independent channel monitor mixing is what sets the Audion ID1 for, apart from most other interfaces at this price point. And I think to keep the Gen 4 2i2 competitive, Focusrite really need to introduce this. On that blonde bombshell, check out my music mixing podcast with fellow YouTuber Paul Third in the description. I've been Ed Thorne. It's been emotional. See you on the next one.